Hey guys, uh, this video is going to be about uh, checking vegan fast food in Israel. I'm going to go to all the big fast food chains like McDonald's, Burger King and Burger Ranch. Uh, just a disclaimer, I haven't visited those places for like over 10 years uh, and I'm not a big uh, fast food fan. But I'm still glad they add this option to the menu, so if someone is craving some fast food for once in a while, now they have the better option to make. Uh, so right now I'm going to go to Burger Ranch here in Afula, and yeah, and give you a review about uh, what vegan option they have on their menu. So let's see you there. Okay, so I just finished ordering. It still seems so surreal to me that I can actually eat in Burger Ranch. So here's the sauce and they all vegan. Yay. There's barbecue, island sauce and ketchup. And here is my kumbina. Okay, so here I have it. A kumbina for two, the drinks and I also order uh, potatoes. I'm gonna take it on because my mom also wanted to try, so we're gonna share together. Plus, I'm probably gonna have better audio at home. Hi, Munchkin! Hi, you are so excited! Okay, now for the thrilling part, the uncover. Let's see what's inside. Ta-da! Oh, I think some of it spilled on the way. My fault, the box almost slipped. One of the reasons this was my favorite fast food restaurant was because of those fries. Just look at this pretty shape. McDonald's and I don't think any other chain offer you those pretty fries. Okay, so here we have it. Let's unwrap. So it is the bun and the patty. This is like the bun and the patty ratio. The patty seems a bit smaller compared to the bun. And I did ask for extra pickles. It doesn't seem like extra, it seems just like the normal amount. I love pickles. You can feel free to spoil me with pickles. Anyway, the bun is, is a bit stiff, not the softest. Okay, we're gonna try it now. I'll give you more like here a close up of the... I think I'm gonna try only the patty first and then the bun. Okay, so let's just take a tiny piece, just the patty. So you took a tiny bit of the patty, let's try it. Mmm, I like it. It reminds me of the vegan mushroom burger. Okay, now let's dig in and let's go for the full experience. <laughs> I have Lana here with me and she's also excited. Okay, again, there is so much uh, bun. I probably need to take two bites before I can actually get to the patty. Let's begin. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, again, the bun is a bit dry, and I think it needs more sauce, but it's really good. I'll take another bite. Mm. Yeah, now I can really feel the burger. Wow. Right. It's really give you the full burger and experience. So I'm gonna rate it like on two points. Uh, one is the patty by itself and one is like the old uh, burger in the bun. So the patty by itself, I really like it. I'm gonna give it eight and a half. Again, because I like mushroom. If you like mushroom, you're gonna like it as well. And the old uh, burger experience, I give it an eight. I think because only because the bun is a bit dry and the ratio between the bread and the patty should be like better. But it's still like a very good burger. You also want to check how good it is. So I also have here potatoes and onion rings, so I'm gonna try them now. Okay, so for the fries I need a bit of ketchup and a lefame, and it's all vegan, so yay us. This is like, I, I don't know if you appreciate, this is like a big plus for a uh, burger ranch. Not all companies have an uh, island sauce that is vegan. So definitely appreciate it. You don't need eggs, if you can see, to make good sauce. Just wanted to point that out because that's definitely put them um, on a higher level compared to other companies. Oops. Okay, it's flesh a bit. 
and just to try I'm also gonna put the barbecue sauce thought it's not my favorite I never really like the barbecue but let's give it a try this is the barbecue they also rebrand it if I remember as a child when I used to eat it like I don't know 15 years ago I think it had different design uh, than this one <laughs> different design same problem with opening okay I'm so scared it's gonna splash all over okay big enough okay and here is all the sauce I have ketchup barbecue and island sauce this is my favorite okay let's try the potato Mmm, really good. <laughs> uh -huh. Give it like kind of crunch. Mm. I'm gonna try the barbecue sauce now. Mm, no, ketchup and Ida sauce is definitely my my favorite. Now let's try the onion. Seems like a bit overcooked. Oh, I have sauce on my finger. Yeah, the overcooked give it like an extra crunch. And one of the best things about Burger Ranch, the frizzly fries. So good. And it doesn't even need salt, it's that good. Now my mom gonna try. So, Jadakimas. And look at this little guy I created here. We're gonna call him Vegan Fred. Now my dad gonna try. Lana also wanna try, but it's not for doggies. So my dad gonna try. Jadakimas. But they have one over. No! No doggies. Nom 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 nom. It's good. Very good. Ha! And you take Lana, it take. Okay, Lana, but only one. Because you saw many put only one. Yes. Um, um. Ah, munchkin like it. Hey guys, so I'm here with my sister at the burger ranch. I already been here and I tried the burger, but the reason we are here today is to try their vegan dessert. After I communicate with the customer service, uh, I discover both of the choco pie and churros and ice cream is vegan. So we are here today to try the result and give you a review. First me to eat. And it also it's our first time eating the Burger Ranch vegan burger. I think you're gonna be surprised for the best because uh, so far it's amazing, it's really good. So she's gonna come with an open mind and we're also gonna have some tasty dessert to try. It. Now we're waiting for the food and then we can do the review. So it's my sister's first time eating our burger. So, so how does it taste like? It's good. Ah, I'm so glad. They cover it with tomato, lettuce, and I asked for mine extra pickles because I love pickles. Okay, so we're gonna start with the meal and then we're gonna pass to the dessert. So, itadakimasu! Okay, so here is the dessert. Here we have the churros with some ice cream and here is the choco, choco pie. It's still like insane to me, it's all vegan. The wow. ice cream and the dessert. It's called a carnival ice cream and the most Israeli. Okay, so here we have it. This two kind of like an egg roll. Okay, so let's try it now. Mm. <laughs> Nice. Oh wow. It's been so long since I, since I ate one. Mm. Mm. Kind of like eating warm sandwich with chocolate. Okay, we're gonna try the churros. Cheers! <laughs> mm. Oh, this is good. I love the crunchiness. Oh, very close up. Mm. And this is really good. Wow. Right? Wow. You're eating this, you get sugar high and you die happy. <laughs> <laughs> For double bite. Mm. You know what I want to try? 
let's let's be risky. Let's no. take a fries and disgusting. Because I always like being <clears throat> there in. Oh. Mmm. It's like a chavos French fries. Yeah. Whoever likes sweet and savory together, mm -hmm. this is nice. Mm -hmm. We're gonna upgrade this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now we're on the loop for McDonald's. You wouldn't believe me. So we're here at the McDonald's restaurant. Let's go check their vegan burger. So right now we're at the McDonald's at the Grand Canyon Kisha. And the reason we're here is because they have a vegan burger. I myself am not a fan of a fast food restaurant and definitely not McDonald's. But we're so pleased that they finally had a vegan option. We made like a big step that they allow people to make a more beneficial choice. So I'm so happy about that. So we already own it. Here is our meal. Somebody did a little accident here. Wow. So we have it here. Are you ready to uncover? Let's discover the burger. And here it is. Well, it's hard to see. They have like a lot of vegetables here. So Han now is going to show us how the bun looks. A lot of lettuce, tomatoes, pickles. I love pickles. What a barbecue! We are uncovering the bun here. The texture reminds me of the bread. Not that bad. The texture is not like that juicy, but the taste is good. Wow, also by. The burger itself is 6.5, but the cold with the lovely chips and all the overall experience is 7, 7.2. Then when they update the snow, after it's been like most of the band, how do you feel like it's better? Yes, uh, when you eat the middle of the band, you get it. Exactly like a regular one. It's hard to tell the difference because of the sauce and the hands. The sauce can make the flavor. Not like the. So it's 7.5. That's what you upgrade, and then you're gonna do it like some exaggerated flavor. 7.8. Yes. No. No, it's 7.8. That's what we upgraded. Okay. 0.2. No, you never did show it for that. Okay, so 10 and result is 7.5. 7.8. You have to be exact on the number. 8.5. 7.5.
Indian food, so we're gonna share. We put the fries inside. Driving safe, driving safe. Of course, look, look how safe we drive. Look, both hands on the wheel. Perfect. Every driving teacher will be so proud. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're gonna try that so we can complete our fast food, big and fast food, uh, we can say review slash competition. We already tried McDonald's and Burger Ranch, so right now, uh, Burger King left. Tel Aviv, guys! Okay, so we're here in Tel Aviv, like five minutes away from the restaurant. And yeah, let's hope they have some vegan patty. Cross fingers. Maybe some dessert? <laughs> or maybe, like, maybe it's too much to ask, I don't know. We'll ask if they have any vegan dessert. But I'm not sure about that, so we'll see. And we found it! Burger King with the G not walking, it's Burger King. You need to walk on the sign. Okay, let's go in. Let's go. Alright, number 15 is the Betty Burger. Oh, and now they have a huge sign for that. How pretty is that? Okay, so this is our order. We order two veggie meals and we also order a big onion ring and that's the price. And now we're waiting for our number to appear on that screen. We anyway, also asked if they have any vegan uh, dessert, but the worker here was new and also the ice cream machine not working, so no dessert this time. Okay, so here is our vegan meal. Uh, just so you know, I'll be honest, the burger is cooked in like the meaty oil, but the patty itself is vegan, so just like for honesty. And they don't have any sauce, they don't have ketchup, and they don't have barbecue, not because they're not vegan, just this restaurant doesn't have it, so we'll have to do without. Thursday, uh... yeah. <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> he's, he's gonna, <laughs> he said it's gonna come Thursday, <laughs> which today is Sunday, Sunday. yeah, it seems legit. Okay, here is the onion rings and some french fries and we're gonna eat right now, so itadakimasu! Okay, so this is the patty, it comes with lettuce, tomato, where is the pickles? Yep! They don't have pickles as well? They, uh, they finish the pickles! It's gonna come on Thursday! Yes! Is this for real? Oh wow, for me it's like a big, big downfall. A burger with no pickles is not really burger. Is this like in all the Burger King or all the ears? I, I need to check, I don't want to give like a better reputation to all Burger King just because of one chain. Anyway, okay, we're gonna try the burger right now, so let's give it a try. Yes, come in. Not bad, even though it have no sauce. And you would think it's kind of dry. I actually like the patty. Mm -hmm. It has a vegetable taste to it, but I like vegetables. So I, like I think from the three, from the two that I tested, it's the better one. The better. Uh... No, I think Burger and still take the all, but this is not. This is better than McDonald's. Yes. Mm, you can see the vegetables. It's the most veggie burger out of them all. Mm. Do you know what time is it? Do you know? Then I'll play the lettuce. And lose in face. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh no! The masala. Wait, wait. Yeah, can you do this? <laughs> no, I 
won the voter in x -Mix. Wait, I give him glasses. One sec. There you go. <laughs> Look, you have a cyclops. Oh, you have a soul die. You have a soul die. Don't move. <laughs> okay, and now we're on to the second part of the night. We're going to a stand-up show that Ken didn't tell me the name of it. You want to tell us? It's a lot of uh, comedy stars in Israel. Okay, it's like a group of comedy stars and... They doing a... Uh, ah, they do it for... No promotion. Volunteer. Volunteer uh, show. Okay. To basically uh, collect money. Uh, yeah, we forgot the word. I'll say it later. <laughs> anyway. It's for my brother. It's for your brother? Yes. What do you mean it's for your brother? Your brother organized it? No, we, the it's... show is for him. Okay, so yeah, some stand-up and humor, and I hope it's not be too vulgar. No. Okay, say hi. And we're here. It's 9.30 right now, so we're right on time. We're 12. Look at the great spot we have right there. And right there is Ken Rada. Yogurt restaurant, we want some vegan dessert. It's to make up for the lack of dessert in the Burger King. Okay, ready? Let's cross. Let's cross! Okay. Look, they're vegan. They're vegan, Ken. Wow. We're here in this lovely restaurant and they have two vegan options, acai and... So this is the acai. Wow, look at this! And now we're gonna put some topping right here at the table. This is like self-serve. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, this buffet is gorgeous. So they have here fruit, peanuts, cashew nuts, chocolate. Look at all the abundance and of course the vegan friendly sign. Look at this vegan masterpiece, oh my god. I think this is the most impressive vegan yogurt I ever had. Okay, let's see. Itadakimasu. Okay, let's try. Everything is sliding off. Mmm! Wow, good. Oh my god. I taste the passiflora because I cook with the passiflora and it's really good. How is the acai? Can have the acai on top? Acai and halva. The banana. Okay. It's a good mix. The halva. I'm gonna try. I'll try the acai. Mmm. It's like this. Oh, I like it. The halva. The halva. Very good. The acai is great. I like it. Special. Do you give it 10? Yes, ma'am. 10. 10. I give it 11. Both the bottom, they have two vegan options. They have the acid and the normal one. The normal Plus, they option. have an open buffet that you can fill whatever you like. I don't think you can top it. And the design of this place is gorgeous. So, it's a pretty place. I recommend it. If you're in Tel Aviv, go visit Tokyo. And we want one and two up. Yes. I will. We want to stay in. We have a menu here. Here you can also see the acai bowl, which I know is vegan. 
So we're at Mini Store right now and I have 200 to spend here. Let's find some stuff. Like Finn and Jay Cable. Okay, we're gonna look and we'll get back to you. Yes, we've been here. Okay, so this is our bounty. Of course I took the bubblegum power bank. Cute thing. And we took two uh, towel, kitchen towels. Two matching bears with a carrot, because Lana loves carrots. Oh, and also the kitchen glove. Okay, so we have it all? Yes. Let's go. We need to pay. That if you ever want to do the black burger once again, and then you do. <laughs> it's such a real texture. Never mind. Hey guys, so I just realized I forgot to do an outro, so I'll do it now. Uh, so the summarize of the vegan fast food option, for me the big winner is Burger Ranch. I think it passed them on all criteria, the taste was better, uh, they have more sauce, they had more vegan option dessert, so basically on all those criteria it took them by far. The second place was a close one because uh, patty-wise I like Burger King patty more. I think it was tastier and also if we're going price-wise uh, Burger King was the least expensive but I have to take in consideration that they did not have some basic ingredients like ketchup and pickles which is a must for me on a burger. So I think I have to give the second uh, place to McDonald's even though I did not like they only had barbecue sauce and their patty, it was okay, it had kind of like a bland taste and most of the flavor come from the vegetables and the sauce. Uh, yeah, anyway, that was uh, my little vegan fast food review here in Israel. I find it really convenient now that those chain have it, so even if you're not vegan or if you're like a lazy vegan, now at least it's so easy, it could not be easier to find vegan option anywhere you go. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.